In the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, with the 82nd pick overall, Washington selected wide receiver Diami Brown from the University of North Carolina. Brown went over 1,000 receiving yards in each of his final two seasons as a Tar Heel, while collecting 20 combined receiving touchdowns and averaging more than 20 yards per reception. The jump ball specialist never dropped a contested target in his entire career at UNC, and his standout 2020 season earned him third-team AP All-American accolades and first-team All-ACC status by leading Carolina in receiving with 55 receptions for 1,100 yards with 8 touchdowns and 11 starts. This is how Diami Brown makes Washington more dynamic. A lanky 6'1 speedster with 4'4 wheels, Diami Brown is a terrific athlete and an elite vertical route runner, whose bursts in the football and ball skills often lead to big plays downfield. His speed can open up opportunities for him to snap off his routes and easily get open in the intermediate passing game, and Brown is an alpha competitor who battles for yards after the catch as a ball carrier, gives great effort as a blocker, and is fearless working in the middle of the field. When it comes to areas of growth for the former Tar Heel, developing his ability to beat press coverage and adding more functional strength are the most notable. Additionally, Brown ran a very simple route tree in college, and understanding a complex NFL offense will be necessary for him to make the transition to the next level. Diami Brown has the potential to quickly become a starting receiver in the NFL, and brings even more speed to the new and improved Washington offense. Pairing Brown with Terry McLaurin on the outside will stretch opposing defenses down the field, while new additions Curtis Samuel and Adam Humphreys will mix with tight end Logan Thomas and running back J.D. McKissick to work the intermediate and underneath routes for the ages Ryan Fitzpatrick and Scott Turner's offense. Having three young speedsters in Brown, Samuel, and McLaurin bodes well for a more explosive and exciting Washington offense in 2021. Terry McLaurin, at just 25, is the veteran of the trio and led the Burgundy and Golden receiving in 2020 with 87 catches for 1,100 yards and four touchdowns. Free agent acquisition Curtis Samuel, who played with McLaurin at Ohio State and is familiar with Scott Turner and Ron Rivera from their time together in Carolina, had a breakout 2020 for the Panthers, catching 77 passes for 851 yards and three touchdowns through the air, while also occasionally lining up at running back and accounting for another 200 yards and two touchdowns on the ground. Samuel is currently battling a groin injury and may miss some time, but when healthy, will be a dangerous weapon for the Burgundy and Gold. Washington's other receiving options include Fitzpatrick favorite Adam Humphreys, who spent the last few years on the Tennessee Titans, playing mostly as a reserve while dealing with multiple injuries, but has a great connection with Fitz from their time together in Tampa Bay. Then there is third-year pro Kelvin Harmon, who missed all of last season recovering from an ACL tear after posting 30 catches for 365 yards in eight starts as a rookie in 2019. Also on the roster is fourth-year wideout Cam Sims, who worked his way up from the practice squad as a special teamer at the start of his career to starting 10 games for Washington last season, snagging 32 balls for 477 yards and a touchdown, but struggling at times with consistency. The 6'5 Sims is likely to make the final 53, given he has proven production as a pro and as a key contributor on special teams. Looking further down the roster, Steven Sims is a possible cut candidate. After a major regression from his standout rookie season, Sims struggled with injuries and drops in 2020, along with several muff punts in the return game, and is a player many have firmly on the roster bubble. Also in the mix are holdovers Antonio Gandy-Golden and Isaiah Wright. AGG was Washington's fourth-round pick last year out of Liberty, but struggled with injury and inconsistency in his rookie season in the district, catching just one pass. Isaiah Wright made last year's team as an undrafted free agent out of Temple, playing on special teams and as a hybrid wide receiver running back, finishing with 27 catches in 11 games. Rounding out the group are veteran return man DeAndre Carter, as well as rookie seventh-round pick Dax Milne from BYU, who Washington took with the second-to-last pick in this year's draft. Milne was Jets' number two overall pick Zach Wilson's top target last year for the Cougars, and though the Washington wide receiver room looks crowded, the former college walk-on has an outside shot to make the final roster due to his slick route running, sticky hands, and special teams ability. While Washington's front office has some tough decisions to make for the sixth and likely final receiver spot, all eyes will be on the rookie Diami Brown this preseason, and I see the UNC speedster fitting seamlessly as Washington's number two receiver behind Terry McLaurin, with the potential to develop into an absolute nightmare for defenses as an outside receiver in the nation's capital. With Curtis Samuel currently nursing a groin injury that may linger into the season, expect the rookie from North Carolina to see significant snaps in Washington from the jump. What do you think of the former Tar Heel terror? Will Diami Brown make an instant impact in year one? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more NFL content just like this.